DayZ is a game filled with wonder and intrigue, but it's also jam packed with I wonder what happened and that was definitely intriguing. But amongst its endless plane of overwhelming tasks and an unrelentingly cruel existence are some things that add a little bit of warmth to the cold hands of its harsh grasp. And here I'm going to try and give you the second best 69 video you'll watch all week. If you like the video please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. One, two, and oh. 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 The protection level offered by damaged or pristine armor is exactly the same. However, pristine armor degrades more slowly. This means although they offer the same level of protection, the amount of bullets they can take before it stops offering said protection is decreased. The combat gas mask comes with a temporary built-in filter. You can revive an unconscious player with a pox antidote. Never build your base in an isolated farmhouse or cabin. Every person who passes will see your base because there's nothing else around, so you will get raided pretty quickly. People seem to think that this is a good place to build because it's remote it's not use the wind to sneak around if you think a player is nearby you can actually use this to ambush them quietly because as the wind blows which it does do every few seconds you can use this to hide your footsteps when you find a car and fix it up don't bother filling up the radiator all the way to the top one bottle should do and be more than enough to get you to your base or a well where you can then fill it up filling it up in the middle of nowhere just leaves you vulnerable if you plan to pee PvP with a melee weapon, use something heavy like a sledgehammer or shovel. They have incredible shock damage letting you take out even geared players as a freshie. If you want to stock up on medical supplies, go to the yellow tents here. They have way more medical and NBC items and gear than any hospital. Just be careful because it is prone to the odd gas attack. Even in rain, untouched or newly spawned in clothes stay dry letting you switch into something less likely to get you ill. Always scout a town before you enter it. Look for dead infected or even aggroed infected. This is a good indication somebody is nearby. Both metal and wooden bases in DayZ are designed to be bulletproof, giving protection to players inside, even if you use armor-piercing rounds. This was to originally stop people from exploiting base raiding by firing through the planks until the frame was so damaged the entire wall disappeared. So the developers just decided to make it completely completely impenetrable. If you throw a smoke grenade, try to wait for it to settle before you run to cover. Firstly, it takes a couple of seconds to fully reach its maximum spread, and the wind can actually change its direction. Remember, puff puff, then pass. When you and a friend log into the game simultaneously, the system tries to place you in close proximity, often within the same town or at least towns that are adjacent to each other. This significantly reduces the time spent trying to find each other at the beginning of the game and encourages cooperative play from the outset because you can just run to each other within seconds. You can repair chain mail using pliers, which is honestly an underrated piece of armor to have given it makes you king of the freshies. If you get warm until you see the heat buff, it's basically vitamins light. It effectively makes you immune to colds regardless of how cold the map gets. This is great for rainy wet nights. Speaking of rain, rain in day Z is more than just a visual effect. It can somewhat hide the sound of your footsteps to players and the infected, and it can actually hinder the infected sight, letting you sneak by them much easier. Utilize the blood system. Getting a blood bag seems like a lot of hard work, but it really isn't, and the reward you get from having a full bag of blood after an injury or a gunfight is worth the couple of minutes it takes. The sounds you hear of the wildlife are not merely for ambience. It's not just chickens that make noise. These sounds can guide players to various wildlife, such as cows or deer, providing essential resources for survival. Roll into cover quickly to avoid being detected once you've made your shot. Bolts used with crossbows can be retrieved from most surfaces if you miss your target, but using them against the infected or other players usually means they break on impact and they're lost for good. Getting wet in DayZ increases your character's weight, affecting stamina and movement by quite a bit. It can also increase your chances of getting ill. Make sure you turn down the volume of your microphone if you meet somebody. Although the volume doesn't technically change, the distance you can be heard does, and this will stop you giving a away your position to anybody you plan to ambush or any passerby who just happens to hear you. The default number for code locks is 111. One, one. 
one. So when you place one on a gate, this is the code to unlock it. You're not locked out of your base if you put one on before setting a code. Don't use ghillie suits, unless you need to. Dressing down can make you seem like less of a threat. In fact, I sometimes go much further, maintaining my freshy t-shirt and I don't carry any visible weapons. Scopes usually always spawn in damaged condition, which can affect their sight quite a bit. Use an electrical repair kit to fix scopes, enhancing long range capabilities. Don't close doors behind you unless you need to. This makes unnecessary noise and limits quick escape routes should you need one. Always use first person in a fight even if you're a fan of third person their person is aesthetically pleasing to see that's why so many gamers utilize it but first person gives you an advantage over third person you're faster more accurate and you can see more if you do like third person don't try and peek corners your camera will come in closer the closer you get to the wall however you can technically go to the wall come away a little bit and lean to see around it you might be seen but it makes it a little bit more even for you third person lovers out there you're gonna be hated by first person purists anyway you might as well give them a reason to hate most people know that first removing and then drying clothes next to a flame is the fastest way to dry them but you need to be much closer to the fire than you probably think you can also stand next to generators and sit in cars as some of the other methods of drying available but they are much much slower using a dark or camouflaged backpack makes them harder to spot providing a tactical advantage in concealing your position or stash in a rush. The best time to light a fire is during the day, under a tree or next to it to render it nearly invisible to passerbys. This allows you to warm or cook things without drawing too much attention, but if you try to do this overnight, all bets are off. You'll be seen from quite a distance away. You can now push cars when they're stuck, but the car will have to be in neutral, otherwise it just won't move. Gas bombs are the best form of camper killer capable of penetrating walls above and to the side of. You can easily flush out or eliminate players in cover. Don't just favor a play carrier because it provides the best armor. You need the best item for the job. It gives you protection but at the expense of stamina, somewhat forcing you to fight when you see somebody due to your lack of mobility. Instead, maybe keep it at your base or stash for when you go to high risk areas. If you plan on surviving for a while, traveling a distance or building a base, fishing provides the ability to catch food but it also gives you a chance to obtain a pot which can give you potentially hours of water. When you do find the pot and fill it, use it to drink to full capacity. Drinking to full capacity from a pot filled at a well can boost your immunity significantly, second only to vitamins, meaning you'll need less food to stave away nasty illnesses. Traps are a pain. They can easily bring down a heavily geared player. However, it is possible to slow crawl through tripwires if you see one. Also, shooting the tripwire until it ruins will let you pick up whatever was set within such as a grenade. Due to more changes, the rag shoes are no longer silent, so you need to think more critically about noise management. Removing shoes in buildings reduces noise but at a small risk of foot bleeds. This isn't too bad though because if you do get cut, you'll clot way before you bleed out with cuts on the feet not being too bad. Different types of cuts come with different types of blood loss rates and the foot happens to be the least. Apply morphine to negate injury effects for combat or escape. When using bandages, they can now continuously heal multiple cuts. This change simplifies the healing process for players who have sustained multiple injuries and sped it up by a good amount of time. This is great for PvP situations. You can ricochet bullets off surfaces. Not every bullet you fire will and it does kind of depend on the angle as to whether or not you can hit them but it really comes down to common sense. But in a gunfight, if you are a bold crack shot, you might be able to do your best Will Smith impression and slap Chris Rock at the Oscars. Wait, no, I mean the Deadshot character he played. That you might be able to do and ricochet a bullet around somebody's cover. Please don't slap Chris Rock again. He's very small. Sometimes when you're cold, hurt or sick, your character can make noises loud enough to give away your position. Gagging them with something like a rag muffles this a lot. It also muffles your speaking, so keep that in mind too, but it's a great stealth tip I use all the time. Armor piercing rounds are best used when firing through certain covers. If a wall can be fired through, and lots of them can, including doors, using these rounds will dish out way more damage than normal rounds. 
collectively. So if it's a 1v1 situation, you want these in your gun. Being hot causes quicker water depletion over time. So unless you want to specifically stay next to a fire for some reason, it might be best not to, specifically if you're low on resources. If somebody combat logs, you can slap them at the Oscars. Or you can set a trap below their logout position that triggers when they log back in. And landmines stay on the server even when you leave, so chances are they'll get a nice surprise when they re-enter. Shout out to my subscribers for this recommendation. If you've ever thought about using grenades or gas canisters with a bit of trickery, you can place them in a fire storage slot. This will create a delayed explosion and is a great way to betray somebody. The gas canisters take a little bit of damage so they're good for playing with friends, whereas the grenades, well, look how far I am and it still affected me. Just keep in mind, it can take a little while to pop depending on the condition. Managing your stamina in combat can make or break a fight. By hockeying your backpack for those quick stamina boosts, you're setting yourself up for success. Stamina management and inventory organization are more than just part of the game. They are essential skills for any serious player looking to dominate in combat. Placing items in the pot when it has water in can soak them, which can have effects depending on the item. For example, matches, which can be rendered useless when wet. So be careful what you place in there. Also, any items placed in there will not be ruined if you're in combat and take some hits, though the pot might be. Here's a tip for the crafters and builders. Hand hammers are now capable of mining static stone, which can be used for knives or even building a windproof fireplace, which is always fun to do if you plan on staying in an area for a long time. Keeping hydrated is simpler than you think. A canteen and a bottle can hold the same amount of water. You should always be drinking from bottles and not wells if you have one. It's a lot quicker to fill up a bottle and drink it than it is to go direct to a well. This means you can hydrate to the same level but in a much faster amount of time leaving you less vulnerable for less amount of time. English my first language. A landmine will only ever break a leg and knock out a player. This means it allows for complex interactions like hostage taking, negotiation or theft without resorting to killing. You can also hide them under clothing for a special surprise. The sound of gunshots can travel up to 3 kilometers, making every shot a strategic decision. Whether you're hunting prey or avoiding predators, understanding the sound and range of your weapon is crucial. You can craft a pretty good mid-level backpack from a burlap sack and rope. You can do this from the coast really early on if you need some storage. Another good one to know and recently updated is you can make an improvised sling bag with just a rope and a dry sack, which is also found in an abundance of on the coast, just be weary that they are usually bright coloured. Burying valuable items away from your base is a smart strategy to protect them from raids. Your base will always get raided on a PvP server, that's daisy life. So learning how to make good safe stashes is a must. Remember, chop down trees, reset on server restarts. Need I say more? Stabbing a barrel with a knife will make a fire barrel. There is an optimal speed when driving in a car and it gives you more control over handling and braking. It might not be fast but it will get you where you need to go without smashing into every tree. Properly ranging your weapons, even at close distances, is vital for accuracy. This is especially true for the crossbow which works on its own projectile system. You can easily overshoot as much as undershoot. The condition of your weapon can affect its ability, making them jam way more than they probably should. Using a weapon cleaning kit will reduce the likelihood by quite a lot. If you're looking for nails to build a base, the best place to check is always train carts. These are great places to loot for for all kinds of useful gear, but they're my go-to for nails specifically. Also check out outhouses. Carrying shoulder firearms in your inventory to appear less threatening is a psychological strategy that can influence encounters with other players because they don't think you've got anything. But for 40 tips and tricks for PvP, click here. Or for something else, click here. And as always, until next time.